This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Wednesday, January the 2nd, 2019. Today is the birthday of Russian scientist Isaac Asimov, who studied biochemistry at Boston University, but went on to write books that are featured in nine of the ten major categories of the Dewey Decimal System. His most famous works, though, were in a new category of literature called science fiction. Asimov's stories and novels influenced a generation of authors and filmmakers. He's best remembered for his Foundation series, and for his short story, I, Robot, and for his invention of the word robotics. Isaac Asimov was born in Smolensk Oblast, Russia, today, in 1920. Today, in 533 AD, a priest named Mercurius was elected as Pope and decided to change his name to John II. He felt that his birth name, which was styled after the pagan god Mercury, wasn't befitting the vicar of Christ, and so he took the name Pope John, who was martyred seven years earlier. Since then, every pope has chosen a new name at the time of his election. It took 1,445 years for another papal naming first to come along, when Albino Luciani took not one but two names in August of 1978 and became Pope John Paul I. In 1492, before Columbus sailed the ocean blue, the Emirate of Granada in southern Spain was reconquered by the Spanish, marking the end of the Reconquista. Just months later, a brash young sailor named Christopher Columbus sailed from that very port in three ships to find a trade route to the East Indies in hopes to keep the war-torn Spanish and Portuguese nations alive after 800 years of war with invading Muslim armies. And January 2nd is also the birthday of Marie-Francois-Thérèse Martin, who got special permission from the Pope to join the discalced Carmelites in her hometown of Lisieux and is known to history as St. Therese the Little Flower. Today would have been her 146th birthday. She was born today in 1873. Here are the last few lines, Pope, of the poem St. Therese wrote called Why I Love Thee, Mary. In May of 1897, a few months before she died, this was the last poem she ever wrote. O thou who camest to smile on me at dawn of life's beginning, Come once again to smile on me, mother, the night is nigh. I fear no more thy majesty, so far, so far above me, for I have suffered sore with thee, and now hear my heart's deep cry. O let me tell thee face to face, dear virgin, how I love thee, and say to thee forevermore, thy child am I. The last few lines of Why I Love Thee, Mary by St. Therese, the Little Flower, born today in 1873. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.